So, hello. Hello. My hello. name is Oscar. Ferenc. What does receiving a Nobel Prize mean to you? I would say the main feelings are a great deal of humility and gratitude. Humility because I think uh, in, at least in this particular case uh, there is still a lot to do to indeed uh, prove that, uh, that what we have achieved will one day um, benefit uh, humankind uh, in, in the spirit of, of, of Nobel. We have actually opened the door to a new world uh, uh, where we are now walking in and walking through and, and try to explore phenomena that uh, one way or the other may become useful for humankind in the future. But I also mentioned actually gratitude. Uh, this is the other feeling that uh, overwhelmed me when I, I was informed about this and uh, gratitude and, and thankfulness to, to a great number of people who, who contributed uh, to to this uh, at, at very different phases of my of my career, starting with my teachers in Hungary, later on co-workers in Austria, Germany, collaborators from all over the world. And uh, speaking of uh, inspiration, now that you have gone through all this exciting research, what would you like to say to uh, students who study physics today and maybe dream of winning a Nobel Prize themselves? Well, they shouldn't dream of a Nobel Prize because mm -hmm. uh, this should never be a goal. Take the necessary effort to find the right question for yourself. The way you can figure this out is that you become so obsessed uh, with uh, the notion to, to try to find the answer that you define this as kind of your major central goal in, in your life. Whatever work you are supposed to do uh, will not feel like work. This is what you would like to do essentially all the time. To find the right question may be very challenging, may take quite some time and may also not uh, be possible uh, uh, right at the first attempt, uh, but it is worthwhile to undertake all efforts to find uh, the right question, the right qu uh, questions. Try to learn to experience setbacks and failures, uh, to, to experience failures as a source of new knowledge and not, a, not as a failure in its everyday sense, right? It's actually a failure in science is not a failure in everyday sense. Sometimes uh, a, a failure uh, enforces us to actually think in a completely different direction, which we would not have done if yeah. instead of this failure we might have managed to, to take a small infinitesimal step forward, we would have the feeling that, you oh, okay, to take you off track exactly, and exactly, to think out of the box and to think somehow in a completely different direction. So failures can be extremely, extremely helpful and, and, and powerful in science. Yeah, so, but what's like the, the environment for, uh, uh, w within your research field uh, more in general? What is it like to work with other fellow Nobel laureates or just the contributors mm. to your Nobel winning research as well? Of course, a great source of imp uh, in, in, in inspiration, so not necessarily only uh, from, from Nobel laureates, but also from other great scientists. Uh, one example is, is uh, Paul Corkum, whom, who inspired me and influenced uh, my, my path like probably no one else. Uh, his extremely deep insight into electron light phenomena. And uh, there have been a, a number of collaborators and of course also co-workers from whom I, I learned a lot and, and I, I still have the privilege to work together uh, these days with. So we, we actually created a kind of culture in, in, in my group that uh, all the time when we, when we start working on something new, uh, we immediately look around, uh, okay, how we can get together the necessary, necessary know-how and identify what, uh, what part of that necessary know-how is available in our own group and what is missing and what is missing, who else does possess this know-how elsewhere in the world and then contact them and ask them, would you, would you be interested to join in and, and undertake this effort uh, jointly with us? And, and uh, we have uh, uh, performed such projects, um, I think uh, certainly more than a dozen, maybe a couple of dozens over the past 20 years, where at least one uh, 
collaborator uh, from abroad, uh, from another university, but typically even more than one uh, participated and, and made uh, really key contributions. With that, I would love to wish you uh, good luck with your future collaborations and future endeavors, and I very much look forward to hear about what comes out of them. And uh, I would also like to thank you very much for this interview. I also thank you for the opportunity and wish uh, all the students of Chalmers all the best for, for your future studies.